No cookies till dinner. Hi, it's me, Big Bird, and I've got a really amazing story to tell you. But before we begin, I want to tell you about a very special sound. When you hear this sound, turn the page of your book. Want to hear it again? Ready? Find the very first page of the story in your book. The page where you see the picture of me talking to Cookie Monster. Did you find it? Good. The story starts right now. It all began one afternoon when I met Cookie Monster on his way home from a shopping trip to Hooper's store. He was carrying a grocery bag full of cookies. These cookies for dinner tonight, he told me. Me going to have coconut macaroons, marshmallow puffs with strawberry icing, and ginger snaps for dessert. That sounds nice, Cookie Monster. That sound delicious. Oh, me can hardly wait. Uh-oh. Me afraid me no can wait. Me afraid me going to eat cookies now. Then me not have them for dinner. Here, Big Bird, you keep cookies for me till dinner time. Quick, before it's too late. He said. Oh, no, I said. I know what will happen. You'll change your mind and pester me all afternoon trying to get them back again. Well, Cookie Monster asked me again and again to keep his cookies. But just as I was about to give in, Oscar popped up and said, I'll keep your cookies for you. Really, Oscar? You do that for Cookie Monster? Why not? It'll be a pleasure, <laughs> said Oscar. Oh, good. Now Cookie stay safe, said Cookie Monster, giving Oscar the paper bag. See you at dinner time. Bye-bye. And off he ran. Oscar, I said, don't you know Cookie Monster will try to get you to give him the cookies before dinner time? Of course I know that, said Oscar. And I love saying no. <laughs> That's when I knew it was going to be an interesting afternoon. If there's anything I love more than salt and tangerines mixed with chocolate and sardines, it's saying no. If there's one and only one thing that can even match the joy, of hiding someone's toy, it's saying no. In the middle of the evening, when the moon is shining bright, and the leaves are rustling calmly to and fro, and someone says, hey, Oscar, isn't this a perfect night? I smile at them and honestly say, no, it makes them crazy. <laughs> I love being negative. I can't think of many things that make me quite as happy as when some little chap, he asked me, Oscar, would you play with me? I just look at him below and quickly answer thus and so. No, no, no. <laughs> well, it wasn't very long before Oscar had his first chance to say no. I was sweeping the sidewalk in front of my nest when I saw Cookie Monster knocking on Oscar's lid. Oscar didn't even bother to come up. He just yelled no from inside his can. But Oscar... called Cookie Monster. Me forget to keep some cookies for afternoon snack. Just give me macaroon and maybe marshmallow puff. Oh, please, Oscar. No, Oscar called back. No, no, no. No cookies until dinner, Cookie Monster. 
That's what you told me. <laughs> so Cookie Monster went away, looking as hungry as usual. A little while later, I was in my nest, and I heard someone knocking on Oscar's can. The person knocking at Oscar's can looked like a furry blue guy smiling. When Oscar raised his lid, the furry blue guy smiley said, Hello, me, Guy Smiley, everybody's favorite television game show host. Oscar said, You're not my favorite television game show host. I don't like television. <laughs> Oh, oh, that not matter, answered the furry blue guy, Smiley. Today, we're not on television. This special game called Prizes for Cookies. You win three dance lessons at Monster Dance Palace if you have marshmallow puff with strawberry icing. Dance lessons, said Oscar. That's ridiculous. Roaches don't want dance lessons. We want trash. No, no cookies. Now scram. <laughs> well, of course, the person pretending to be Guy Smiley was Cookie Monster. The next thing we heard was a strange clanging and rattling noise. Down the street came Buster the horse pulling a wagon piled high with pieces of old washing machines, worn out sneakers, and broken clocks and umbrellas. And riding in the wagon was a furry blue trash man. Me understand that you like junk, he said to Oscar. You can have all this for 20 cookies. It's a deal, shouted Oscar. Dump it in the can. When all the trash was in Oscar's can, the trash man said, Okay, 20 cookies, please. <laughs> sure, said Oscar. I'll give you 20 cookies at dinner time, cookie monster. But no cookies till then. Oscar hadn't been fooled for a minute. Poor Cookie Monster wasn't having a good time at all. I felt sorry for him, but I still couldn't wait to see what kind of trick he'd try next. It was a good one. This time, when Oscar answered a knock on his lid, he saw a furry blue little old lady in a polka dot dress holding a big bowl. Hello, said the little old lady to Oscar. Me baking a cookie pie, and me want to borrow a cup of sugar. Sure, only I don't have any sugar, said Oscar. I can give you a cup of rocks instead. Oh, that's just fine. Can me borrow a cup of flour, too? Well, I've got some mud. How's that? asked Oscar. And soon, mud was in the bowl with the rocks. Anything else? <laughs> Me think maybe there's something else, said the little old lady. Oh, yes. Me remember now. This a cookie pie. So how about me borrow some cookies? What? Before dinner? No way, Cookie Monster. <laughs> said Oscar. So Cookie Monster trudged off, carrying his bowl of rocks and mud, but no cookies. Believe it or not, Cookie Monster just wouldn't give up. He came back to Oscar's can again, this time as a fix-it person with a big tool chest. Now what? Oscar asked him. Me fix-it person. Cookie Monster said. You want anything fixed? Don't be ridiculous, fix-it person, Oscar told him. I'm a grouch. I only like things broken. But 
if me fix things, then you can break them again. How about that? Well, naturally, Oscar liked the idea. So he brought out all the trash Cookie Monster had given him, and Cookie Monster set to work with a hammer and nails and a big tube of glue. When he'd fixed everything, he said to Oscar, Okay, all finished. That be ten cookies, please. I'm sure you know what Oscar told him. Cookie Monster tried one thing after another all afternoon. First, he pretended to be one of Oscar's grouch cousins. Then he dressed up as a trash can inspector. Finally, after trying to catch some cookies with a fishing pole and even asking Oscar's pet worm, Slimy, to bring him out some cookies, Cookie Monster gave up. <sighs> no more tricks, he said. Rats, I was having such a good time saying no, said Oscar. Oscar, if you not give me cookies now, me going to stamp me feet and scream till me blue in the face, said Cookie Monster. Terrific! Go ahead! And I'll say no till I'm green in the face! <laughs> Laughed Oscar. Just then, Cookie Monster sniffed the air and shouted, Oscar, what that terrible smell! Something burning in your can? Oh, don't worry about that. That's just the sardine stew I'm cooking for dinner. It's better when it's burned, explained Oscar. Wait, wait! You say you cooking dinner? It's dinner time! Oh boy, give me cookies! Yelled Cookie Monster. Oh no! Me and my big mouth. I just spoiled my chance to say no again. Rats, said Oscar. So Oscar finally had to give Cookie Monster his dinner. He grumbled and grumbled because now he couldn't say no to Cookie Monster anymore. All Cookie Monster said was, Cowabunga! I don't have to tell you what he did after that, do I? When there was nothing left of Cookie Monster's dinner, but a few crumbs, he sat back against Oscar's can with a full tummy and a big smile. Oscar had helped Cookie Monster save his cookies for dinner, and now Cookie Monster was very, very happy. When you think of someone expert in his field, mention sweets and cinnamon to cookie we must yield. Every kind of cookie Wets his appetite. There isn't any cookie that's not his heart's delight. He must have a cookie degree, or two, or four, or more. Master of cookies with a double major in chocolate chip. Doctor of cookies with a concentration in ownership. He loves his cookies. Watch his googly eyes light up when he munches cookies. He's a happy cookie monster. He will plead for need for love to find a seed for cookies, cookies, cookies. He loves them. Let the tape run to the end before you turn off the machine. <laughs>